Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and on this episode of Shortcut Quilts, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Fat Quarter Snowballs quilt. We're using Moto Fabrics today, and this is super, super easy. So it's a great gift, and if you've got any friends that are just learning to quilt, this is a good one to start with. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make snowball units and I'm actually gonna show you the traditional way and also a shortcut way that's gonna save you a ton of time. So the traditional way to make a snowball is to draw a line from corner to corner on your fabric C square, place it on one corner, stitch directly on the line. We're gonna be using a friction pin to draw our line because it will disappear with heat later. Stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away and press. And that is gonna be one corner of your snowball unit. So if you're comfortable with that method, that's great. Now, if you wanna save time, I've got this other way you can do it because we're gonna be doing all four corners. So on the second corner, I'm just gonna show you this new technique. Put your fabrics right sides together and put a pin in place. Doug Lico has this brand new ruler called the Mini Simple Folded Corners Ruler. He also has another one that's a little bit bigger and that one will work also if you have that one. What you do is you place the lines on your ruler with the edges of the small square and when you do that the points the lines are going to match up on the points on the square you're going to go ahead and cut and put a pin in place now what i would do to save time is i would do all of these corners then you're just gonna stitch with a quarter inch seam and you're gonna do that on all four corners. And this is how beautiful your snowball blocks will look. They look awesome. Now I really encourage you to try Doug Lico's ruler cause it's gonna save you a ton of time and you need to make 36. Now that your snowball blocks are done, we're gonna move to our diamond block. You're gonna use a fabric A square and a fabric B square. And we're gonna be using the same technique with Doug's ruler. Put this on one corner pin and you really don't have to pin it's just an OCD thing that I do I know that Doug does not pin so that's also an option you know line this up same thing points touching trim and then move your pin then what I like to do is do the opposite side at the same time to save time at the sewing machine Pin, and then you're going to want to press once you press add the other two and this is how your diamond block is going to you to look and these are looking so cute with this fabric and again you're going to need 36 assemble your quilt rows alternating your snowball and diamond blocks you're going to need four snowball and four diamond for each row assemble nine rows and alternate by flipping them Press them together for your quilt center. Then add your side borders, add your top and bottom borders, and you're done. The Fat Quarter Snowball Quilt is a great way to show up all the fat quarters that I know all of you have in your house. Download the free pattern that has lots of size options and comment below and let me know what you think of Doug's ruler. See you next time.